guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you guys this look right here it looks different on the camera than it does in real life and on an iphone camera so i'm just going to give you guys a variation of what it looks like make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit like also every single product that i'm using in this video will be in the description down below for you guys so i'm going to give you gals the makeup look that i posted on my instagram because oh my god we're so many of you guys very very adamant about this makeup look so you guys want to make sure you guys do not use a moisturizer that's going to peel how you know that it's going to peel is you apply it to your face and after five to ten minutes just rub your face and if it starts peeling it means your makeup is going to peel i am going to use the la roche posay thermal spring water and it's just water in a little aerosol i'm pretty sure that's what it's called can here and i'm just going to spray this all over my face to make it very wet both of these concealers are so freaking good a lot of foundations give me flashback which i really don't like but these do not this is the kosas concealer it's very very popular if you're going for the clean girl makeup look and this is a very high coverage concealer if you just need a little bit more concealing but i'm gonna show you guys how i use these so i have a shade 4.5 n and it just looks like this and i'm just going to just apply a little here i don't know if you guys can see that but it looks like skin again just lightly applying this so where it doesn't really hide too much of my natural features i actually forgot to put primer on i used a fenty like moisturizing primer or like hydrating primer in that photo but i just like totally forgot you need to make sure that if you're applying primer that you kind of let it sit there for like five minutes because if you don't you go straight in with your concealer it is going to peel i just scar really badly on this side so i always add extra and then my nose as well you really gotta learn how to use this product with its formula it works a lot better when you have a lot of moisturizer on and your skin is like already dewy before you put on your concealer my favorite thing to do is use this to kind of manipulate how light hits my face i've been watching a lot a lot of korean makeup tutorials on how to kind of like figure this out so i am just going to dot most important part about this makeup look is making sure that you actually apply concealer here around your nose and kind of onto your cheeks it's gonna give you a fuller face look so i put some concealer here and then i'm just gonna go like this at the ends here of my eyes making sure that every line kind of goes the same way so i'm gonna add one here and one here add one here add one here and i'm just gonna add some concealer on my chin And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blend concealer up from my nose where you would usually would nose contour. I'm just going to put concealers on the sides like how I would usually bake. And I will say this concealer is at least two to three shades lighter than I am. So I actually have the Rare Beauty um, blush. I'm actually finding out that I like this a lot better than the Rare Beauty because it is just a lot more pigmented what i'm going to do with this is i'm gonna make sure i put this specifically really high on my cheeks i'm going to try to just keep the blush where it's already at and your positioning of your blush is very important about how your look is going to turn out kind of blend it in a little bit 
to like maybe the middle of my pupil but that is the farthest I'm going to go because if I bring it all the way over here I feel like my makeup looks very muddy or it's more of a sunburnt look but it's all within preference for this to show up in a picture especially if you're going to use powders and bake and stuff you need to make sure it is pigmented to the point where it will still show through the translucent powder if you're using one makeup on camera is always going to be a little more dramatic but if you're planning to wear this like on the daily basis and every day go lighter definitely go lighter with the blush then i'm gonna apply the excess to my nose but just my nose not here if we were to apply blush right here where literally my fingers are i feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of why we put the brighter concealer there and i might just go back in just to make it more bright there because it's not really giving right now i think what i like to do is i usually like to apply blush right above my eyebrows and i feel like this just makes the look very seamless and then just a little bit on my chin as well going back in with this concealer because i'm just gonna add a little more concealer here making sure you play with the light in your face this is the beauty bakery powder here it is amazing i love this powder with a passion it just sets so good and it's always so smooth instead of baking baking first you're going to set your makeup before you bake like i always thought you baked and you just wipe it off and that would set but honestly setting your face and then baking is like so much better i'm gonna take the excess product in the cap here and i'm just gonna dip my brush in and we are only going to be putting powder literally in our eye socket i personally get really oily on my eyes like on my lids specifically and makeup always always comes off there i'm also going to set where we brightened right here and then i'm just going to do my forehead and I'm going to do my eyebrows because I hate oily eyebrows. But you guys are probably wondering why I only powder those specific spots. And it's because I still want my cheeks to give that inner glow that the concealer already is giving me. Including like the blush and stuff. So I wanted to make it look like I'm just going from a thin, right? Eyebrows. Um, I'm going to use this palette. And I'm going to just take like this really dark brown color to do my eyebrows i've been using powder recently because i feel like it just fits the look the best i feel like you can tell the difference between using powder and an actual like eyebrow pencil so i'm just going to use powder because i feel like it just gives you a softer look by the way i'm just brushing out all the product like concealer powder and everything off of the brow hairs so i'm going to be extending my brow a little bit um because my brows are just i just feel like it kind of just gives it a little more life <laughs> um so i'm going to just that this power Sorry, this is really hard to explain. And just keep filling. We are going to use the closest one that actually matches my skin because I don't want the main focus to be my eyebrows. I want it to be actually my eyes. So I want to make sure this matches my skin. I don't have the fluffiest brows so i'm gonna use some brow gel here and this is by covergirl and this is just gonna darken my hair to make my eyebrows look more bushy this just kind of defines your brow hairs which is very helpful if you guys have sparse brows like me but yeah i have sparse hairs so i can't do the whole like 
soap brow like trend it just doesn't look good on me the one thing i forgot to do and what's really important also in this makeup look is eyewear colored contacts to make my pupils look a lot bigger these contacts that i'm going to be putting in right now are dusk brown these are by hapa kristen by the way but what i was going to say is it is really important to know how to get the right contacts and I watched like a whole video on it and these are honestly the best. So don't mind my eyes right now. Obviously they're kind of irritated because I just put the contacts in. Um, but they are very, very comfortable. Um, my eyes just need to learn to adjust it a little bit for right now. But off with the eye makeup. Um, I'm going to take the same palette again. This is the 35-0. By the way, I know they are having a little bit of controversy online. But I... I've had these for so long, but I definitely feel like you can find the same shades in other palettes. So I'm going to take this kind of like, I don't know what to call this. It's like very, very light grayish, greenish brown. I feel like this works the best on me, but I'm just going to darken this a little bit. Um, that is looking a little bit too gray for me. So I'm gonna actually take this brown color right here and blend this all into my crease. My camera died. I literally just added the orange color all on my top lid here and then on the bottom of my eyes. What is that? The, the lower lash line? Because I feel like makeup looks without doing your lower lash line, it feels very off for me. So I just like to... Make sure that I get some shadow down here. Tight lining your eyes is very important in this look. So I'm going to take a brown eye pencil here. This is by NYX. And this is in dark brown. And I'm just going to line the upper waterline to kind of give my eyes a little more depth. And not only that, but it helps with blending your lashes a lot better too. Now that I've done that, I'm also going to do just the inner corners on the bottom and the outer corner here taking the same angled brush i'm going to go into a dark brown color and i'm going to just basically line my like lash line with some dark brown shadow here I'm gonna bring my wing actually downwards. It just looks better on me than like upwards personally. So that is exactly what I'm doing right now. Now we're gonna do the Aegea Soul. And basically I'm gonna be taking that same like brownish greenish color. I don't know how to explain that. Um, and I'm just going to squint. I kind of already have Aegea Souls. Especially when I'm like talking and stuff like that. Like you can always see it. So I'm just going to darken that shadow. Now let's talk about glitter and highlighter. This is what I use. This is Naked Cosmetics in the shade Sierra Nevada. I'm not even sure if this is even being made anymore, but this is the best glitter that I found that sort of works for this look. So what I do is I literally stick my finger in here at the top. I literally just... Oh, that was a lot. Yeah, but I literally just pat this on. And then on my nose, I just pat that on as well. This highlighter or pigment just makes it look like your face is naturally very wet looking already. Which I love. I'm just going to add some under my brow here. One of my favorite tricks to do is actually to highlight the sides of my nose. Now with a small little brush like this, I'm just going to wet all the pigment that's in this cap with the La Roche-Posay water. And I'm just going to dip my brush turn this into kind of like a cream and i'm going to do highlighting right here this just makes sure that the pigment shows up a lot better i'm going to use the color natural and i'm just going to line my lips 
This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood. And I'm just gonna apply that. I'm going to take the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and I'm just going to apply this onto these small little frill lashes. Okay, so onto the lashes because I feel like this is the most asked part of the makeup tutorial. So basically what I do is I took two pairs and I put them together. Um, in the picture, I'm only using this side, this style. I'm not sure which style this is, but I'm going to link this down below for you guys. They kind of give you that messy like eyelash extension look, which is something that I was like looking for. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Hair is hairing, makeup is makeuping. I feel like for looks, like you have to do your hair. So if, if sometimes something doesn't look right, it's probably because you didn't do your hair. Yeah, I am in love with this look. It just, it's so light, it's super easy. It's like nothing complicated. I literally did this so messy. By the way, I also did my lower lashes. So I just put mascara on them. But yeah, guys, this is the final look. 